Welcome back guys, uh, today I have another video from uh, Mr. Week Gaming. The basic topic is the new Intel LGA 2011 uh, socket uh, CPU uh, lineup. Uh, I've already a uh, Wikipedia uh, page open, of course. Um, and uh, there are very, some very remarkable things going around uh, this CPU uh, line. The Core i7-13820 uh, uh, is a 4 core, 12, 8 threads and uh, CPU i7. 3.6 GHz uh, frequency. It has a turbo boost of 3.9 GHz, but it's limited unlocked. Unlock. Uh, what that means, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe they uh, try to tell you can still change the FSB and uh, fuck the uh, CPU frequency up. But I think uh, something else than we. Uh, used to be. Um, the Core i7 uh, 3930K is a 6 core CPU. It has 12 threads, 3.2 GHz, so it's slower than uh, the other one, than the 4 core version. It is 3.8 GHz, also slower than the uh, 4 core uh, version, but it is fully unlocked. Which means you can uh, uh, easily overclock it. It's a uh, it's a 120 watt TDP uh, CPU. Uh, there are rumors going around on the internet that the new uh, i7 uh, and uh, model or professional uh, line will use 100 an 80 watt TDP but because uh, there is no evidence or proof to that I would say uh, this is probably the most uh, uh, good information you can get uh, 180 watts would be a lot uh, then water cooling is probably the only solution except for the Noctua uh, H40 uh, product but those are very expensive and very uh, uh, heavy for the main board I have a big picture here look at that it has 8 DDR3 uh, memory uh, slots. It has 3 times X16 uh, PCI Express slots. Uh, revision 3. Uh, the socket is bigger. Uh, and it has, it has this beautiful skull on it. Even though it's only the view and a look but because that's the first thing you want to uh, achieve with your product right uh, and this is going to be the new Intel uh, CPU coolers I mean with the i7 uh, models the i7 uh, the new uh, line is will probably will uh, be shipped without a cooler so you need a external cooler from a dirt party salman corsair uh, noctua uh, a lot of others uh, also uh, so there is there are solutions to it but keep it in mind and it will add something to the cost of course if you have a high-end cpu I want to take a, a standard i7 cooler that's uh, yeah 
I mean, you want to overclock it, of course. Um, this is the cooler I have in mind. Yeah. From Corsair. This is the CPU cooler. And there is also a H100. That's a 240mm uh, radiator uh, liquid cooling uh, solution. And uh, it's probably will uh, be plenty of for the uh, new CPU line. Uh, and of course I'm going to overclock. I'm also going to take uh, 8 uh, uh, memory uh, uh, sticks. Yes, this is going to be the RAM. And it's awesome looking in your case. Uh, that is the final touch you need. And uh, yeah, liquid cooling, a 6 core CPU, and a great mainboard. And also a GTX 980 or a GTX 580 or 590. Uh, we'll do the trick. So uh, yeah, uh, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Are you going to stick with the Sandbricks 26K uh, CPU? Which is great CPU, by the way. Uh, why go are you going to take uh, on the LGA 2011 socket? Uh, will you upgrade, or do you say, "Well, fuck it, I stay"? Well, uh, le let me know. Leave a comment below, and uh, well, have a nice day, Mr. Weed Gamer.